This video is about the princess of pop. Oh, I farted. Sorry, weird start. Um, she was the queen of the late 90s and the early 2000s. I had a friend whose sister used to get her records out of cereal boxes. I'm not sure if I'm making that up, if that's a conflagration of memory. Conflagration? I don't know if that was real. Let's all thank Holtzkern for sponsoring this video. Do you like jewelry? Yes! And cool stuff for your body to make you look even cooler? Yes! And maybe even stuff that helps you tell the time? Yes! Yes! So do I! That's why I have taken Holtzkern as a sponsor for the second time on my channel. Holtzkern makes high quality and nice personal pieces to add to your your skin, your body, to put on you so you want to watch them. They're made of wood, cool things, stone, mother of pearl. Every piece is unique thanks to nature. I love that, guys. They kind of remind me of guitars. And the Holtzgren team is, is based in Austria. It's a young team of people. They love wood and natural unique products. And they've been providing these products to the world since 2015. Seven years, almost one million customers. And they started small, but now they're on the Uberville channel. <laughs> I've bought a lot of stuff. I've bought a lot of gifts from Holtzgren from all my friends. They love them. In fact, we all have watches, Holtzgren watches. I have like three just like that I can choose from at any point. This is my favorite product that Holtzgren has. It's a woman's watch, but I don't really care because I'm a man. And I, I think I, li I like the way that it looks a lot. Free shipping to the United States of America in most European countries within two to five days. No customs fees cost, nothing like that on delivery. 24 month warranties on all this stuff and 24 day right of returns. Support the channel, click the link down below, use my code, all right? You get 15% off on all products. Okay guys, that's incredible. It's not that often we get a really, really, really cool ad spot. So my friends, Click the link in the description. Consider getting yourself something cool, personal, unique, something made of wood. Walnut. I recommend walnut. I love walnut. Or get yourself a woman's watch. <laughs> I really like this watch. I don't know why. I'm not really a big accessory guy myself, if you couldn't tell. I'm pretty simple, right? But I love simple things, simple, beautiful things. I love guitars, wood. That's why Holtzgren has essentially been the only thing that I've used to uh, accessorize myself. Because of the unique and personal nature of every single thing being different and having different you know, natural tones of wood, etc. I love it. It's incredible. It's cool. It's a, it's a brand that I can genuinely stand behind. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and thank you Holtzkern for sponsoring this video. Remember, buy some stuff. 15% off. Thank you so much. Britney Spears has a harrowing tale. Her life is rife with controversy, heartbreak, manipulation, and she's only 41 years old. And now, people think she's not even real, guys. There's an actual conspiracy theory that she's not even real and she's been replaced. And I've got, I've got proof. I've got proof of that. Just kidding, I don't have any proof of that. Uh, but there is a, it's, there's a lot of really strange videos that have happened. And also, guys, I'm deeply and truly worried about her. Uh, I've been keeping up with her story for a long time. I have an anecdote that I would like to share at some point involving her as well. Um, but much like myself, from a very young age, Britney Spears was groomed for a life in the spotlight. That's true for her. That's not true for me. I was just being a shithead. Sorry. And this isn't like Discord moderator type grooming. I don't believe. There, she attended classes. She took lessons for dance, singing, gy gymnastics, any skills you could possibly imagine that would assist you in being a career performer. She did that starting as young as three. All right. So she was really, truly in the truest sense of the word groomed from the very beginning. She even had her stage debut at age five at her kindergarten graduation. She had a vision for her future at a young age that most people still don't have at age 18. In a Rolling Stone article from 1999, she recounts hogging the bathroom and singing into her brush saying, I was in my own world. I found out what I was supposed to do at an early age. And that is to be a, uh, a, a hit pop star um, and heartthrob and also idol to many young, young women and men. Now, in retrospect, I wonder how much of this was her being her own autonomous child wanting these things and how much of it was her parents putting her on rails and, uh, you know, forcing her essentially, convincing her that that's what she wanted. And that quote was from 1999, which is at the very thick of her becoming a chart topping artist at only 17 years old, right before her cameo in Austin Powers, gold member. Was it gold member? I think it was gold member. I don't know. And it was shortly after her big single, Hit Me Baby One More Time, came out. Hit me baby one more time. <laughs> when she was young, she would often participate in talent shows. There's some footage of it out there. Uh, she even blew away the judges one time at an open call for the revival of the Disney Channel's... Um,
I love that show. She was only eight years old at the time, and despite wowing the judges, she was too young to be a part of it. You can see the direction. Early on, you can see the direction. She's going to be a star. There's no derailing this, this big old stinking train. And as you can probably imagine and know from all the different tales of people who were famous at a young age and were child stars, whatever, it doesn't ever end well. Literally ever. It doesn't end well. They grow up to be messed up because they're taken advantage of and exploited at a young age. And they don't have childhoods. They don't grow up. They don't know. They don't... They don't have principles, they don't have maxims, they don't have things, they don't have discipline. They just get whatever they want and they just create power. They turn into demons. Um, but yeah, childhood stardom is a tricky thing, to be honest. Usually, child stars are individuals with very specific skill sets, and if they fall outside of the scope of that skill set, they are going to struggle. We've talked about a lot of them on, on my channel before. Demi Lovato, she sings to ghosts now. From the ground, like a skyscraper. There we go. <laughs> um, Shia LaBeouf, he's wild. Macaulay Culkin, I think he's doing all right now, but he had a, he had a rough patch. Lindsay Lohan, I think she's also doing all right now, but she might just be like me. I stay away from cities because when I'm in the city, I smoke crack. Uh, and Amanda Bynes, who's not doing well. And not to mention Jeanette McCurdy, who literally wrote a book about being glad her mom died for making her a child star. You've seen the crazy stuff recently about Britney Spears, the conservatorship nonsense in the news, all this stuff. It's just like, what is going on, dude? What is even happening? Someone, someone help her. What is even happening? The first big controversy with Britney Spears happened in 2007. After going through a recipe for disaster, you know, massive amounts of success, going through puberty, maturing, uh, maturing, a truly and difficult to overstate significant change in a short amount of time, things went downhill. All right, guys. And she had a bit of a past with substances and attended a rehab facility in 2007. And the day after she left this rehab facility is when she famously shaved her head, which came as a shock to the world. Most of all, her fans. Me, when I was a 10 year old boy in 2007, um, Britney Spears had just shaved her head. I shaved my head as well. Not out of like solidarity or posterity or whatever with, uh, with, with Britney. To be honest, it didn't really have a lot to do with Britney. I just felt like shaving my head as a young person. And my parents came home that day and they were like, why did you shave your head? You're like Britney, are you crazy? And then uh, I thought to myself, maybe I am crazy. <laughs> maybe I am like Britney. It was really strange. It was very strange, but she looked a little insane though. She had her visitation rights stripped for her child. Uh, her ex-husband was given sole custody of the, the child. It was just a, a wild time in that in, in that period uh, for Brittany. Um, and then a few months later in January 2008, she was involuntarily admitted to a psychiatric hospital for the second time in her life. When she first shaved her head, it was unclear to the world as to why she would do that. She had mentioned that it was because she didn't want people touching her hair anymore. Um, and now people wouldn't be able to. That's a strange reason, to be honest. Not the same as my reason. I was sucking milk, shaving my head, and shitting in my diaper in 2007. <laughs> I was pretty, I'm just kidding. I was very independent. All right, I had a mortgage. This is where things get really interesting and tricky. Because of all this involuntary admittance to psychiatric hospitals and being someone who has a lot of power and makes a lot of money, Britney's father, Jamie, and her lawyer, Andrew Wallet, terrible name. These people were granted temporary conservatorship over Britney. Now, a conservatorship is basically like they get to decide what happens for her. And they got joint control of all of her assets and finances. Very strange. More specifically, conservatorships are generally granted to people to, to manage minors. Um, but in this instance, it was to manage an incapacitated person. At this time, she was only 26. My age, baby. Maybe I should shave my head. Get this wig off. I don't want people touching it anymore. Oh, baby, just in time to get kicked off your parents' insur insurance. So, the conservatorship begins. At this point in the story, Brittany did not have A, custody of her children, B, visitation rights, C, a husband, and D, control of her own assets. No longer a human being. The conservatorship also made sure that essentially any decision that she was to make, personal or otherwise, would have to be approved and controlled at all times. You want coffee? No. Vitamins? Not allowed. Every single part of her life was no longer in control. How this is a thing that can happen is beyond me, bro. This is wild. 
At 26 years old, she had less autonomy than she did at 16. Maybe it's because she lost her mind. I don't know. I'm not Brittany. I don't fucking know, dude. Seems messed up though. And like you might expect, this was supposed to be a temporary solution. And I'm assuming it was to help her adjust and get back on her feet. Um, you know, if she's shaving her head and abusing drugs or whatever, she definitely needs a bit of an intervention. Uh, but this seems a little overboard to me. It started in February of 2008 and then extended again in July to the end of the year. And then in October, it became indefinite. So basically she just has to indefinitely ask permission to do anything, make any decision with her father. That is unbelievable. She didn't even have bodily autonomy with her father at one point denying her wish to have her IUD removed. That is insane. What an evil piece of shit. She wanted to get married and have more kids, but her conservatorship removed her freedom to make either of those decisions. It also controlled her ability to visit her sh children that she already had when she was, you know, stable enough to have visitation rights, but she didn't. She eventually did fall in love and had a fiance who was then granted co-conservatorship and could make decisions for her life, but not her finances and assets. Um, and you might guess, during all this time, she was still making music and had a career that was very, very lucrative. She was able to make a lot of money and do a lot of things, but not have any sort of enjoyment or fulfillment from those things. Speed everything up until 2019, she took a hiatus from her career when her father became incredibly ill and nearly died in 2019. Mind you, she was in her 30s at this point and still had no control over her life. And at this time, 11 years after the conservatorship began, we would see a big change, guys. Andrew Wallet, the worst name for a lawyer potentially ever, resigned and left Jamie, Brittany's father, as the sole conservator of her finances and personal decisions, everything, professional fight, everything. This is where all the conspiracies begin. Brittany was still posting to her Instagram and her fans began to believe that there were hidden messages in her posts. This is, it's so crazy that this is a world that we live in. Some poor girl, very famous is just posting, the, I mean, they're weird videos. Anyhow, this summer has been so much fun for me. I learned so much, I laughed so much, I swam so much, but the most important thing that I did learn was that life has so many spontaneous gifts at each moment. She seems extremely distressed in this video, like someone's pointing, a, is she all right? Was she kidnapped this whole time? This seems like it was against her will, uh, and people would start to say that, and then, you know, things started to happen. A fan page of Britney's called Absolutely Britney theorized that her social media team was deleting positive comments from social media and only leaving negative ones to literally make a gaslight the world and lawyers and courts into thinking that she couldn't have control over herself, that she had no autonomy. This is a damn human right violation, if you ask me, brother. The hashtag created in lieu of this would become massive. Hashtag free Britney. You've probably seen it. The pressure that this generated created enough momentum to end the conservatorship and a court appointed attorney would take control of the power to retain caretaker security as well as access to her doctors and diagnosis treatment. So it's still strange. And Jamie did this because of his own health issues, not because of free Britney yet. Dude just ignores his own daughter, which is absolutely insane. I can't believe I'm making a video about Britney Spears. <laughs> That's awesome. And I'm enjoying it too. That's even more awesome. A year following her father stepping down a bit, the, the attorney Ingham, the court appointed dork, would challenge Britney's capacity to pass an evaluation that would allow the conservatorship to end. He compared her to a comatose person. What the f And at this point, Britney was refusing to perform until the conservatorship ended. She had had enough. The whole free Britney thing was getting out of hand. Uh, it was getting crazy, man. She was still making money and no one would let her be her own person. Crazy. Britney was finally able to speak in court about how she felt the conservatorship, those that had power over her, her entire life had manipulated her and that they should be in jail. She spent like 20 minutes describing to the court how she'd been isolated, medicated, emotionally abused, exploited, abused in general, and that the California legal system was to blame. Baby, f California. How about that? Fuck California. Another reason I hate California and Canada. I hate Canada and Maryland for some reason. I hate Maryland. Just kidding. I like all those states. California's beautiful, but I cannot imagine 13 years of having no control over my life. That is insane. Until I was basically 40 years old. During this time, so much stuff was happening, 2019 to 2021. Britney's two sons, teenage boys, uh, got a restraining order against Jamie, Britney's father, for them. They were assaulted, apparently, by Jamie. What the f 
The next month, Jamie stepped down as Britney's conservator, and a professional conservator named Jody Montgomery took the place. Jamie still planned on returning as the sole conservator, but cited that he yet again had health complications. And in 2021, hashtag free Britney began to free her from the conservatorship, which showed the court that millions of people stood with her uh, and hoped that she would be free. And lo and behold, 2021, she was freed, my boys. She was freed from the control of her evil father. She posted her thanks to Twitter. She posted on her Instagram as well and started dancing in a bunch of strange different outfits and expressing herself for the first time since, since the conservatorship. So strange. And this is where the conspiracies begin. There are a lot of really bizarre things. I'm not making fun of Britney, by the way. I love Britney, but this, some of this stuff is fucking weird. Look at this. This is crazy, dude. She did say, I'm not turning 41, I'm turning 12 which is sort of bizarre. Would be a lot more strange if she was a man. I'm right, you know I'm right. So now we're at a good point in the story. The conservatorship is over, but by God, is the insanity just beginning. Many media outlets that were covering all this stopped once the biggest part of the story ended, uh, but Britney is sort of still in a battle in my opinion, it would seem at least. People are really worried for her. Her dancing was erratic and her stares piercing to the soul. In most of the videos that she posted from this point on, she just had different outfits in the same three locations, dancing and staring at the camera. Fans were insanely worried for their health, came up with tons of, tons of theories as to what could be happening um, and what exactly was wrong with her. So now, in my opinion, this seems pretty normal. Um, you know, someone just kind of excited who doesn't really know how to be a person, just posting, just entertaining the fans, I guess. But it's, it just comes across as really weird. And when you start to take into consideration the conspiracy theories, such as the conspiracy that that is not the real Britney Spears, that is a body double and or clone. What? Now there's actually evidence to this, guys. And there's even more crazy theories. A lot of forensic scientists on TikTok and Instagram got to the bottom of it. <laughs> People claimed that this was a fake character that was acting as if she was the real Britney. They stated that the real Britney would never act this way and that this character was set in place by someone in control. Maybe the conservatorship wasn't over. There's even a video of her being compared to herself from 2013 to now, which is just it's really strange. It's really weird. I think I would be a good lawyer or I think I'd be a good makeup artist or a school teacher. A lot of comments and a lot of people saying a lot of different things about me, but I just want to let you guys know that I am fine. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life. She's giving cunt and slay, if you ask me, guys. Um, they said her mannerisms were completely different and there's no way that it's possible that that's the same Britney Spears. Uh, they even talk about her not having a tooth gap anymore, which I you can get your teeth, your, your teeth fixed. Your teeth fixed. <laughs> <laughs> he said the wrong word. <laughs> Shut up! I'm new to this. Here's another video comparing her speaking changes over time, which is definitely weird. And it enables me to breathe better and to open up and to feel better, so. Well, let's see, I've been in the conservatorship for 13 years. Um, but at the same time, you know, your speech is gonna definitely change. In my opinion, one of the only genuinely solid pieces of evidence that people have are, are from videos of filters disappearing in her dance video. This is weird. This is really strange to me. Like, how do you, how do you explain this? Okay, what the actual f I love A lot this, of people uh, have been commentary. seeing that Britney's been, somebody is, this is not Britney. Somebody's been using a filter to look like her, and I'm about to prove it. There's a clip that I got from this guy's page, or girl's page. So you see her hands go above her face once. Watch when they come back down. It's what? one frame. What? But this is a blue-eyed person. That's freaking AI, dude. That's ChatGPT's Britney. That's not Britney, that's ChatGPT. What the f***ing f***ing sh we even took the clip, uh, put it into Vinci, and, and and paused the frame, and it is actually real. That is real. You can see the filter. There's like a different person under it. That isn't just like compression or something. It's it's really weird. Changes the eye color completely in the makeup. Like that's mm, hmm. Maybe it's a Brit bot. Maybe the the Austin Powers thing was real. The Fembots. Remember that from Austin Powers? I love Austin Powers. Yeah, baby. So Britney doesn't have blue eyes. Who is this person? This single good piece of evidence, good piece of 
proof, I guess, caused a massive overanalyzation of every single post that she's ever made. And, you know, people now believe that she's not actually uh, Britney Spears. It's an impersonator or clone. Why would they be posting on Instagram? It doesn't... Uh, confirmation bias could fairly easily explain this insanity to me. Uh, but there's, like, people think she's dead, potentially. What do you guys think? Is she dead? There's even a conspiracy about this photo, that she wasn't even in it. It was She was just photoshopped in. It's Britney. Glitch. <laughs> That's so funny. Even just looking at this photo from very, very far away, you wrong. can see that her left foot is just floating into the nothingness. But when you zoom in, it becomes obvious what's going on. This foot right here. Notice how both of shit. Kate's feet and her other foot have a shadow. Maybe she's just trolling us. <laughs> yeah, graphic designer here. That's bad Photoshop for sir. Probably from version 11. All right, pre-creative cloud. <laughs> they definitely used Adobe stock for that. <laughs> $700 a month, <laughs> unlimited assets. <laughs> um, there's so many conspiracies. One is that she is an impersonator. One is that she is a Brit bot. One is, she, is that she is a cl clone. One is that she is still under someone else's control. Some people are stating that her new husband was in control of her life now. Oh my God, and then it wasn't actually her husband at all. It was her new handler. It was Jamie. F and some information that further stokes this conspiracy fire is that they had a ceremony, a wedding ceremony that wasn't attended by any of her close family, not even her kids. There's so many like little subtle calls for help. A Princess Diana photo framed on the wall was her subtly calling for help. Dude, I don't like it's it's absolutely wild. Context for that is that people think that Princess Diana was assassinated and was under the control of someone else. There's a lot of speculation. A lot of speculation. One thing is for sure, she drinks too much caffeine. She apparently drinks so much caffeine that she stays awake for days at a time. My source, trust me, bro. Just kidding. We have a really it's 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 TMZ. <laughs> Not a good source. Not a good source at all. But yeah, so the pendulum has swung, essentially. We went from conservatorship, we went from freedom to insanity, cons to conservatorship, to losing the conservatorship back to insanity, something. I don't know, maybe she's over-caffeinated. Who knows, dude? It's sad. The takeaway from this is that don't create child stars. Bad. That's bad. That's basically bad. And also, maybe stop posting, Brittany. Stop posting and just read books and work on yourself and, and try to try to become a better to become a better person maybe buy a a, a john, john a jimmy rings uh chair and um you know watch umpaville yeah i want to know what you guys think of this i think this is a really interesting story the the conspiracies that's the most bizarre part in my opinion what does it mean um and what will this mean for all the kids and people who are getting super famous on TikTok and YouTube nowadays? Is it going to be better? Is it going to be worse? Britney is such a unique case. She's been consistently like number one and the part of the, the zeitgeist of our culture since she became number one, which was in the late 90s. It's been a long time she's been at the top. And at such a young age too, dude. Exploitation, manipulation, abuse. It's terrible, dude. Terrible. Terrible. Let me know what you guys think down below. Out of the frying pan, into the fire, it seems like. Hopefully she's doing all right.